guys, this is AJ, the CEO, coming at you with another video. And the long-awaited surprise project um, is finally here. And I am happy and glad to be able to talk to you about it. It is pretty much going to be an entire video system as well as a unified network system install from ground zero at a client that pretty much has nothing. Um, that's what I'm pretty excited about. Um, been working with them for maybe the better part of four to six months. I can't remember, um, but pretty much um, it is a church who has seen my work at um, other churches. And originally it was projected just to do a camera system, remote cameras, um, as well as presentation software to put up scripture and everything inside the sanctuary. But that has um, since expanded and changed to where the congregation has wanted um, Wi-Fi throughout the entire building, um, which includes a free Wi-Fi for the congregation as well as an enhanced um, network for the administration and other current facilities inside the church that are using Internet. And we are also going to be installing two remote control PTZ cameras and put in a full HD video mixer, recording center, live streaming computer, presentation computer, as well as a distribution hub to where we'll be able to distribute any type of input throughout the entire um, church. And we're also adding a the component of the pastor has an iPad, so we're gonna have it set up on the podium to where it will be able to connect into the video mixer and be able to present whatever is on his iPad to the congregation and throughout the church. So um, this is going to be multi a multiple video series going through this entire thing. So what I want to do now is kind of just walk you through the computer stuff. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, I've actually shown um, done the same setup before. So this isn't really going to be a long video. This is more of an intro into the other videos. Um, I'm actually setting up a virtual server right now to start configuring and setting up um, the network um, systems. So just waiting for some um, the funds to clear in the bank and then we'll start ordering some parts. And But I want to walk you through some of the stuff that I'm actually getting to do this. All right. So let me jump over here to my computer all right so let's go here to one of my favorite little vendors here go to new egg now out of all the systems that i've been using one of the things that i've shown to be the most cost efficient and the most reliable um, cpus i've seen for live streaming have been the ryzen 3s what i'm you what i currently use to live stream here from home whether it be um, gaming videos like this or anything else are all done with the Ryzen 3 and the Ryzen 3 that I use is well the 2200G and this one has an embedded GPU in it as well and this thing has been super super reliable um, for when I'm um, for live streaming I mean rock solid go ahead and add that now, I believe this is also the same motherboard that I use because I don't really need any some need something super fancy, but I do need it to have this little um, PCI plug right there. And that's going to be for our capture card. So um, with this, I'm using the M.2 drive for it to run faster. Again, nothing's going to be recorded on this. The system is going to be used solely for live streaming. So the, it's only going to be live streaming software on the system as well as controller software and nothing else. All right, we'll go ahead and add two things. It also has a power supply here. A 450 watt is perfectly fine for this. So we'll go ahead and add that. Now what we need is memory. Now honestly, you really don't need a lot of memory. Um, you need at least eight, um, um, eight gigabytes. You really don't even need to go any higher than that because again, the system's not gonna be doing anything except for just this. So I'm gonna bounce between a couple of these and I'm, I'm gonna run it in dual channel, meaning that 
the memory um, on the motherboard has two slots so I want to go up to eight gigs so that would be four gigs for each mo module and honestly this is the exact memory I have in my current streaming system so I know this one is good so I'll go ahead and usually ships in four to seven days so I'm not going to get that I need something that's going to be here a lot faster so I'll probably go with this Corsair here because the other ones I've never I haven't worked with before I'll come back to operating system so let's go back and just check what we got so far so we got our motherboard we got our memory I mean our power supply uh, we got our memory we got our hard drive so I mean our CPU as well as um, graphics card that's all embedded so what we're missing right now is a case monitor and our hard drive so like I said I'm using the M.2 drive and that's for speed and a 250 gig is perfectly fine yeah that's the one that I have in my computer right now so 256 this is going to be our OS drive where Windows is going to be installed and all our software so that it runs really fast all right that's everything here so far now we still need to have um, a case and I forgot our capture card so I you know we don't need you to go over overboard on our case uh, I'm looking for something that looks nice and clean but at the same time doesn't break the bollet wallet because I mean no one's really going to be staring at this case uh, but this is the one that I'm actually going to go with because um, the other system is the same thing so you know I want them to be the same alright so we got our case, our motherboard, our power supply, our memory our CPU and GPU and it also has a fan included so that's something else we don't have to buy and our hard drive so honestly this is a complete system the only thing that's missing is our capture card I like to use the Blackmagic Decklink mini recorder now you could use um, there are multiple other capture cards out there but in this type of environment this is the one of the best capture cards that you can get that has HDMI and SDI, SDI being a more professional connection, which is what I'm actually going to be using in this setup here with an HD SDI um, cable going from a video mixer into this system. And just consider with this price, um, add $100 if you're doing Windows. The other good thing is for anybody who is really savvy with this, you can always um, put Linux on this system and use the exact same streaming software and it will work just the same um, but again I wouldn't give this over to a um, client like that unless they really really knew how to handle that um, the mindset of this system is a turnkey approach so they'll know exactly what they need okay. and then we can always add a basic keyboard and mouse and I am using a wired mouse because I don't want to have introduce batteries or anything else that they got to replace and then we need a just a basic monitor you got to be mindful of the connections it has HDMI and the motherboard has actually all three connections so this is a safe bet for me to get this one all right so from a live streaming standpoint here is a complete computer for that to be able to handle all of that now one thing you don't need but I would recommend because I use this here personally is a stream deck this way you can program these buttons to do everything you don't necessarily need the mouse and keyboard to do it um, I actually have the mini one that just came out I have this at my church um, and I have it programmed to literally all these buttons that have one two three four five six and the staff who is non-technical they just gotta go through the orders of the buttons to get it to live stream our church service um, me personally I have this one here and that's what I'm using right now but you know it's at your discretion it depends on how much customization you want to do 
I make like seven hundred and seven dollars with this full setup. And again, add another hundred dollars for your operating system. All right, so that's kind of what I normally would pick for um, a live streaming computer. I mean, you could always go more, but again, I have tested this thing with multiple forms of gaming. I have done 1080p, 60 frames a second, um, on and off um, from all types of events, sporting events, church events, video games, um, drone um, flying, when I've hooked it directly to my drone output, and the system hasn't gone, while running Windows has never gone over 30% CPU usage. So it is a good quality system. Now again, you could always throw more at it if you wanted to. You can have a dedicated GPU, all this other stuff. But again, those, the APU, um, the Ray, um, Ryzen 3 2200G with the CPU as well as the GPU on the same chip has done perform phenomenally so you don't necessarily have to get more but this is kind of like a baseline of what you can use to live stream so when the parts come because I've already ordered this I will go through a simple build and show you how it works and then I'll actually do some testing with it so you can see and then as this project goes bigger and bigger I'm just gonna have a section at a time and we'll show how all this stuff integrates and we show how it all works now the one thing I will say that exact same system minus the capture card is the exact same system oh excuse me as well as I added a DVD burner to the drive just in case for churches sometimes people want to have CDs to play so the presentation software computer that's going to put scripture and everything on the wall is exactly the same system that I just customized minus the capture card um, so you're going to have peak performance the hard drive is different because that one's for more space since it's going to be for presentations. Um, but you literally have two identical computers. One is for presentations, built from the ground up just for that. But the other one is dedicated just for live streaming. So um, they'll look exactly the same. <laughs> the DVD drive is the only way you're really going to tell them apart. But um, everything down to the keyboard monitor is exactly the same. So anyway, guys, this is AJ, the CEO. And this is part one of the big project that I was telling you about. Um, stay tuned. And I think the next part I'm going to be talking about is laying out Unify and the networking. How we're going to have it set up um, for the church, for everybody in the church to be able to get live stream, but then lock it down and secure it so that people are not having any impact and getting in trouble and doing stuff they didn't want to do. So this is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video. Later.